people of Earth, the following podcast is not real. But the good news is, if you love to laugh, if you enjoy a well-told story and endearing characters, there's a fair chance you'll find those things somewhere out in the world later today. But first, you've got to get through 40 minutes of this. So sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Neekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal through the dimensional rift that I used to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern The Wander Lost in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Chunt the Talking Badger. Bing bong! How you doing, buddy? Arnie, I am doing very well. I don't know if you've had a chance to sort of sift through the magical horde we found ourselves in possession of, but there is so much fun stuff in here. We do seem to have an embarrassment of riches and magical items after last week. Oh, sweetie, don't be embarrassed. I'm just a little embarrassed. You know what I mean? It's just you just don't want to flaunt how many magical riches you have. Arnie, I saw you wearing the beer muffs earlier. Didn't you enjoy that? I did, but it made me hear everything as if I'm drunk. Yeah, beer muffs. It's kind of fun. I guess so. To see how the other half lives. I, yeah, I just... I, it, it was nice that I felt like everyone was saying validating good things about me. Like, keep going. What you're doing is great. Whatever you're doing, do more of that. Good. That's, that's a positive. And I have been digging outside it a little bit with the salsa shovel. Every single dig I make with the shovel, it turns the um, sod into salsa. Oh. Yeah. Here's the thing I don't love about the salsa shovel. I just don't trust that there's no dirt in that salsa. Like, it's all salsa? Mm, yeah. Well, to be fair, I don't know if it is called the salsa shovel. It turns everything into diced tomatoes, which I guess is not mm. technically salsa. Not how yeah. Usador makes salsa, of course. Yes. Um, so I still prefer his version. But, um, yeah, it's just an interesting shovel. I guess we'll just call it the interesting shovel. Okay. Oh, uh, speaking of Usador, I'm also joined by my other co-host... Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, Wizard of the Twelfth Realm of Ephesius, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer of Chaos, Champion of the Great Halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fiang Yalk. The dwarves know me as Zonin and Hookstangies, and I am known no devourer of throughout the Northeast as Gasmuenius Maystar. And lo, now that these magical items are in our position, I possess both a brooch of licorice and a wand of licorice. Dump your daddy boy. What? What? Just, you, uh, it's just one of your names I like. Did you freak? Dump your daddy boy. I don't like. I'm not crazy about that one, honestly. <laughs> did you say devour of chaos? Devour? Uh, didn't I? Did I skip one? Oh, maybe. Maybe I've been wearing the beer muffs too. Start long. over. I was, oh, okay. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion there of the great go. halls of Trachus. The elves know me as Fiangalak. The dwarves know me as Zonin Hukstangis, and I am known throughout the northeast as Gasmanius Maystar. And everyone seemed to gloss over the fact that I have a wand of licorice and a brooch of licorice. Don't be our daddy, boy. Okay, nobody cares. You're not going to ask me about it. Fine. I'm sorry, you sir. Are you hoping for some follow-up questions? I'd love one. Okay, what's the thing you were talking about? I have a brooch of licorice that when a person wears it, it makes them taste like licorice. But I also Ooh. have a wand of licorice that makes everything you touch it with taste like licorice. Okay. Now, I notice you bit the top and bottom off of your wand and you dumped it into your tankard to drink out of. Uh-huh. How, how's that going for you? Not great. Tastes like licorice. Why are you wearing a brooch that advertises to all the people around you, hey, I taste like licorice? Well, because then if someone tastes me, uh, they know what they're getting. Hmm. I mean, there are a lot of amulets and brooches down there in the, in, in, in the basement. It's going to take a while to sort it all out and figure out what everything does. And, uh, hmm. But I just got to the licorice section and I was enjoying myself. I like, I like the taste of anise. 
Yeah, that explains some of the things people have been saying about you at the bar. The taste of anus? Oh, hold on. Oh, Arnie. Hold on, Arnie. Oh, oh, go ahead. Hold on, Arnie passed me a note. Chunt, please call Usador a twizzard because of the licorice? (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. What does that mean? A twizzard? I feel like the note is self-explanatory. Here's my question. Why did Arnie have to pass you that note? Why couldn't Arnie have just said that himself? Yeah, Arnie. Or... I'm practicing spelling. Okay, well, that's great. I think there is a spelling uh, bracer. If you put this bracer on your arm, it helps you spell. It guides your arm as you're yeah, writing things this out. Yeah, that's this bracer that I'm wearing here. Oh, you're wearing the spelling bracer. Yeah, several seasons where I have lightly suggested that maybe I don't know how to read or write. Well, you know what? That all changes now with this magic bracer. Well, speaking of the bar, I want you to know that I've hired No follow-up someone. questions about my magic bracer? Nope, none at all. <laughs> Uh, I've hired someone to help us around here because we're so busy traveling around in this moving tavern, and I thought we needed someone who could bring some real class to this place. So I have hired a new barmaid. Is um, this, do you want me to say something? Yes, yes, Leona, come on over, sit down here. Uh, introduce yourself to Arnie and Chunt. Chunt? Yes, yeah. this is Chunt. He's a shapeshifter, but he's usually a bat. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, it's fine. I'm Leona. You may know me. You've probably seen my face. Um, yeah, you've been working here today. No, you've probably seen my face on posters, yes. maybe some statues mm-hmm. everywhere. Um, mm-hmm. I'm Princess Leona of Arnie. Frogenford. Arnie, this is Princess Leona Frogenford. A frog? No, of Frogenford. Oh, my God. Well, uh, oh my yes, God. Of, of Frogenford. Pardon my you. hat. Your, your majesty, please, please we'll, forgive listen, me. Listen, we'll work on it. Oh, very well. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Okay. But thanks so uh, much for this employment opportunity. My dad said I had to do it. I crashed his favorite carriage. Oh, yeah. Oh. But in all fairness... I was drunk. Sure. Okay. So, like, what was I supposed to do? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm often drunk. Thank you. I think that I can tell. Thank you. So, was this a horse-drawn carriage? But you were so drunk that you got the horses to crash it? What is a horse? Hmm. You know the big animals in front of the carriage sometimes? I don't really pay attention once I get in there. Wow. Okay. Oh, she probably has one of those closed carriages. Because, like, it's not about me, what's outside of it. You know, I leave that mm-hmm. to... It's not my business. You sure. Know? Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited to have you working here. Uh, 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 Arnie, Princess Fio- Princess Leona of Frogenford. Are it's you okay? Most, well, I'm great. Oh, it's one of the most famous princesses in all of the realms of well, food. get it together. Okay. Oh, Usador, get it together. Get hey, it hey, together. you smack me in the face with your wand. Come on, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, uh, you can take a deep breath. Don't be our daddy boy. I, I think this is going to be a wonderful uh, character building opportunity for you. That's you sound like my dad. Did he tell you to say that? Because that's all he said. Uh, was your dad really old? No, he's like 40. Hmm. We don't yes, live that long in Frogenford, just so you know. It's just hmm. like... But I don't know, like, what is a long time, if you think about it? Well, I am over 350 years old. Gross. Yeah. No, thank you. It's really gross. So, Leona, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. So your father is punishing you and making you work here, which, you know, yeah. that's a recipe for a good employee, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, do you mind me asking you a little bit, how is... I apologize. I'm not as familiar with Frog. All of you take forever to say stuff. Like, that is true. The guy I wand? happen to disagree. Oh my it doesn't God. take me but a mere second to make my point clear. Okay, and well, now you're in I the zone on on because yeah, I called you I out. So. Patted on and on. <sighs> and I just like to ask a question, but I like to hide a bunch of caveats within that question. So what I like to pepper caveat? in three or four. Hmm. Boy, do I even really know I know, know caviar. I know that one. Oh. Is it like that? Well, uh, yes, I, I'd i like to know more. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Listen, you guys should just give up the ghost 
and let me do whatever I want. It's going to make things run a lot smoother for you in this Did you cavern. suggest think that we should all just die? Oh, let go of my dad? No, uh, well, uh, just let me do whatever I want in here. Uh, I'm sorry, Leona. We can't let you do whatever you want. We need certain tasks to be completed, like you have to serve ale to customers and uh, bring food out to the tables and sweep and mop and clean up after people. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No. Yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry. There's this there's this royal scroll here in the tavern from your father. Okay, well, what the royal scroll does not tell you is I am allergic to soap. Hmm. Okay. So okay. you do you mop the floor with soap? Uh, yes, we of course we use soap. Uh, yeah, I how- can't do that. That wouldn't be in there because they don't want people to know that the royals have allergies because it would make us seem weak. Yeah. But um, sure. you get it. Please be discreet. We have to be discreet. So sure. do you use a number of perfumes and other things to cover your odor, odor since you can't use soap and to bathe? Oh, my God. How, how do you bathe? You sore pervert. Um, uh, what? Is there HR what? in this tavern? Oh, a huge reptile? Um, <laughs> I can go find yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but Trent, be, there's one sitting right behind you. But I have to warn you. What? That huge reptile is a horrible pervert. Which, where? Right behind Chunt. There's a huge reptile. HR. Is he single? Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, I have not dated anyone outside of the castle my whole life. Uh, Rick? That's... Rick? Rick? Are you single? No. <laughs> Rick is not single. Huh? Sorry. Well, this is this is really disappointing. I thought I would be meeting guys. If I well, there are other huge reptiles that come in here. Just Rick happens to be here right now. Listen, it doesn't have to be a reptile. Don't think you know me. Oh, just because you just asked I like about him. I, I thought maybe he was your type. I don't. I don't know. Wow. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So you're saying it doesn't have to be a reptile. It just has to be someone that's huge. It just has to be someone who's single at this point. I don't know. Okay, okay. So you're not uh, a size, size princess. princess. <laughs> oh, Arnie Jinx. Plus, plus. Jinx. Oh, oh, no. What did I do? What did I do? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt. But uh, I just want to know. Uh, you never answered the question. How do you bathe? I think we've moved on. Okay. I haven't. You haven't? No, I tend to get fixated on things. Okay. Well, once again, it seems like it. Anyway, you have to offer me something in order to get that information. Oh. All I ask is you let me do whatever I want in this tavern for as long as I'm here. But th- what do you want from me in order for me to get what I want? But, but that's want not that a job. Information? Is that we, it? No, no. I, we pay you to do certain tasks, and then we give you money in, in, you are- in, in compensation. But today you're on a I podcast. Know, and it's really pretty. I keep it in a little jar and I look at it. The money? And I go, that's what that looks like. That's what money looks like. I don't need to know what it looks like. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, you, you have no need of money. I own you. Because you're, well, you own me. Oh, yeah. I own you. No one owns you, Sador. No, no, no. Listen. The minute you asked me how I bathe, oh my god, we have two witnesses right here. You are fucked. <laughs> yeah, you did say that, Isidore. She, well, I, she said she was allergic to soap. I own your bar now. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, well. I, see, Listen, you should just, I mean, you've learned your lesson this time. Let's see how many more things you fuck up. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, well, let's take a break, Isidore, before you say anything else that might um, get us in trouble here. We'll be right back with more of um, her royal... Airness, uh, Princess uh, Le- 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 Leona. Is anyone going to say my name so I'm unjinxed? And Arnie. And Arnie. Yes, no, sorry. Go. Unjinxed. Uh. <laughs> Fly, you fools. Over to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a patron of the show. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of our wonderful bonus content and material and ad-free versions of the show. It seemed like an it seemed like a natural follow up question because she said she can't use soap. So I just said, "Well, then how do you bathe?" You said, "Or you are no longer allowed to ask anybody, especially anybody that works here, how they bathe." That's just that's that that fine, question is off the fine, table. Fine, fine. I know it's one of your top five favorite questions. It's not. It, it made perfect sense in the context. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, licorice. 
Yes, uh, would you like to lick me? I taste Actually, like licorice. Oh, use it or no. Use it or. What? Wow. It is amazing. Um, I'm going to pretend that you didn't say that because you're making it too easy mm-hmm. um, to fuck you over. And it, it, it's why I'm going to survive this experience. Because I don't know, because character building can be in a bad way, too. I don't know if people know that. I'm building character. It's just not what y'all want it to be. Mm -hmm. Leona, can I ask, have you been punished by your father to have jobs before? No, this is the first one. This is your first employment experience at all? I mean, I have um, hobbies. I do things. What sort of things do you like to do? Um, I really like buying stuff. Okay. That's fun. Yeah. I saw out front your dad's credit cart, um, which it seems to be a, a cart attached to your carriage with all the gold and uh, mm. jewels and treasures. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, Have you ever maxed out your father's credit card? Listen, sometimes I steal other people's credit cards. Oh, whoa. Because people aren't paying attention, and that's not my problem. Like... You have to be aware. Are you, can you, you have to hire like the right type of firewall of like people oh, yeah. to watch your credit card. Well, but hopefully you don't have you their don't, pin because like, if you don't have their pin that connects them to the horses, then without the pin, the credit card is probably useless. If you run it as credit, you don't have to have it. Oh, shit. Right. I, I you shouldn't. You uh, I hope no one takes my credit card because it. it, it if you go too fast, you'll you'll you exceed not the limit. Have a credit card. <laughs> what? what I did. I've looked for it. So I was going to steal it, and then I can't even steal from you, and it's like, mm. you are the worst. I mean, many people think I'm the best. At what? Use it or don't get into an argument with disaffected youth. Oh, You're going to lose yeah. every time. Uh, no, I'm genuinely interested. Like, what are you good at? What do you love? What are your passions? Birds and rocks. I love that. Oh, so oh yeah. yeah. And, oh uh, my god, birds and rocks are my main thing. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, do you think that the birds talk to the rocks? Because I do, but based on like what time of year it is, there's different type. Like everyone is represented by a bird and a rock at different parts of the year. It's so beautiful. Oh. Uh, yes, I've had many conversations with birds and rocks. Uh, and I know that they can converse with what, me. What month were you born? I was born in uh, Flebuary. Oh, you're a cardinal. I see that. I, yes, yes, because I, I was brought... That. I was brought into the world by a conspiracy of birds that insisted there be a champion. Hmm? What do you think of that? Well, that doesn't... It's not accurate with your chart, but, you oh. know, you do you. Okay. So, Leona, what's your bird in rock? Oh. So, I was born... In Abertina, the fourteenth. Mm-hmm. Sure. So I am a bald eagle. Oh wow! Whoa. But not just a bald eagle; it's like a bald eagle with a chihuahua in its mouth. Oh, wow! Um, mm-hmm. So I think people say that that means I'm difficult to work with. Yeah, that but sounds, sounds honestly, like. Honestly, I just think I'm very passionate about mm-hmm. what I do. Well, the thing, the thing about uh, being a bald eagle is that uh, many people believe that, yes, they are difficult to work with, but many people also believe that someday they'll tear apart that chihuahua mm. and wear it as a little toot, toupee and become a little easier to work with. Toot? Mm. Yes, toot, toot, pay. <laughs> cool. Oh. I, like, I like you. Oh, you like You've me now? you totally changed. Oh, thank you. I That's- mean... Listen, this is this is a good start. This is like you've you've come back around. Okay. But like I mean, I'm not like all in yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're still going to let me do it, do whatever I want. Uh, we do bar, need to pay you right? to do particular tasks around the tavern. I'm no, afraid no, no, I no, can't. No, we've already negotiated. And I'm so we sorry. Did. I'm going to tell Leona, you how I bathe. You know, what? I, clearly you have a you're in a bit of a power struggle with Usador, but to be clear, I own the tavern. <sighs> What? Who are you? I'm good I'm question. Right, I'm, fr- I'm from another world. Uh, I happen to have, I happen to own this cursed tavern. Um, so, but I'm, I don't do much well, work. Well, they should have here. introduced me to you first. Why am I talking to this? I don't understand that. This. 
Yeah, this is an true. outrage. Yeah. Uh, Leona, do you mind telling me, tell me a little bit about your father. He's king of Frog and Ford. Uh, sure. Like, uh, what else do you want from me? <laughs> well, yeah. uh, uh, Ani, I do can... Do you want t- me to be specific? You want me to tell you about my trauma? Oh. Uh, you want me to tell you? You don't necessarily owe me your trauma, although sometimes it makes good content. Okay, then what do you want? Well, what is... Do you have any sibling? What is your... What is... Yeah, what's it like in the Frog and Ford castle? I don't like talking about my siblings, number okay. one. Okay. So don't ever ask me about that again. Okay. okay. Unless it seems really interesting, and then do it. Ah, it does seem okay. really uh, interesting. Let's come at this like from a, another angle. It's like a logic problem. Uh, what? You love shopping. You love buying things. Yes. Uh, what else right. do and you care about? Things. And stealing Stealing credit cards. Uh, you don't like your family, so... Uh, when you're home, what, what 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 do you do when you're not out shopping? I really like manipulating the people that work for me. Okay. I, anyone I can, you know. Because like, at like, some point, people don't listen to me. Uh, but, like, there's, like, a level where they have to listen to me. And then I have fun with it. And honestly, I think I'm really good at it. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like, little pranks and things. That are funny. I, well, I guess you could call it little pranks, but okay. it's just basically I get what I want in different and fun ways. So, like, you dump out a jar of preserves and then you snap your fingers and you say, clean that up? I don't know. It's like, have you ever seen that movie, The Goddess Fathereth? Um, Ani, have you seen that one? So, I don't know if I'm familiar with that play. Okay, so this guy is an idiot mm-hmm. to this other guy who's a who's a badass and he gets mad and he puts like a horse's head in his bed. Like that's what I'm into. Does that oh, make sense? That's fun. That's a good play. Like Terrorizing people is what you're saying. Well, I've never thought about like what it's called, but like, yeah. Sure. When there's a power structure where you're kind of much more powerful than everyone that works for you and your family, is it really a prank? Mm-hmm. Like, how do I'm you know you fool powerful. people? Oh, you're not that powerful. Well, I mean, that's what I mean. I think I'm getting good at like figuring stuff off, like out on my own. It's not just the name princess that doesn't get you everything you want. It's making people really, really annoyed mm-hmm. and scared of you at the same time. I like see. I think that's a lethal combo, don't you think? I mean, I, you have probably have the power to have people executed, so that's definitely a lethal combo. No, I just have the power to make people want to do what I want very quickly because they don't want to deal with me anymore. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ah, and I, see. I think it's I don't know, I think I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, you've you're a self declared genius. Mm-hmm. That that's impressive. I I I'm I'm very impressed. Uh but now I think we need you to serve some ale yeah. and clean the floors. Oh my god, how many times are we gonna go through this? Okay, I'll do it one time. Great. Yeah, and my only thi- normally, we'll pay you one time. Normally, I wouldn't care okay. if I'm being perfectly honest, but this decree from your father in this scroll says that if we don't get you to do a good job, we will be killed. What? Well, it says yeah. we'll be put to the sword. And who do you think yeah. is reporting back to him about this? Do you see anyone else here? Oh, oh the huge reptile. Rick, are you working for the king? No. Okay. Then don't I think lie. we're all right. Rick might only know how to say no. Rick, do you know how to say any something other than no? <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh, that just might be the sound he makes. Yeah. <laughs> he might not be a talking he, lizard. But he's still not single. Rick, are you still seeing anyone? No. I think he's single. There we go. Guys, I'm suddenly I fascinated by me. Rick. I'm gonna fuck Rick. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! I think you should. I mean, I mean, I, it seems like a good opportunity. I've never. I don't even know what it is. I've lived in a castle my whole life, and I just bully people every day. But like, I hear sex is fun. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Well, but uh, it seems like a lizard makes sense. Would you guys not agree? Um, no, I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, I believe as long as it's you, uh, you and the lizard consent to this, it's perfectly fine. Explain sex to me. Huh. Well, when explain a- sex to me. No one will tell me about it, and you have mm-hmm. to, or 
I don't know. I, oh my you gosh. know, I don't want to say I'm going to kill you because I'm not. I'm going right. to do worse things. It's going to be really annoying. When but two wizards funny. love each other very much, they turn into a pile of meats. And then they trick each I other. I don't like by, that. What? Well, Arnie, why don't you take a shot at it then? Oh, boy. Well, huh. Uh-uh. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable explaining how sex you works. You said pile of meats. Yeah. He did. Look, he's a wizard. I'm so sorry. Uh, Princess that Leona. is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Wiz- uh, we have a theory that wizards don't really even know what sex is. And that might not mean much to you because you don't know what sex is. Um, but I think they're a little confused. Maybe I'm confusing. a wizard. Maybe. It, it could be. Yeah. Um, there's a licorice wand and a licorice brooch. Mm-hmm. And when the licorice wand gets excited, it casts a spell on the licorice brooch. And I'm um, writing this down for no reason. And from okay, I'm there, gonna go serve some beers. This yeah, is really yeah, that's, boring. That makes wait, wait, wait. Sense. Be- before you go do that, uh, I just like licorice brooch. Like, ugh. Uh, be- before you go and, and go and go serve beers, what? Uh, since you're so interested in Rick, would you be interested in going on a date with him? And if you enjoy the first date, we're willing to pay for the second date. What's a date? Well. Uh, it's I when know, I know that sex is the thing you're supposed to do, but I don't know what comes before that, and uh, I also still don't know what sex is because you refuse to tell me. Well, the act of courtship takes place uh, when uh, two people. Or do I fuck beings. this lizard or not? Nah? <laughs> I think mm. you can, but I would, I would suggest sitting at the table with him and trying to have a conversation to see if you have anything in common first. <sighs> I'm also going to say the issues of consent with a lizard that can only say no, but we're not sure what that means. It's tricky. It uh-huh, just that's seems pretty tricky. True. You're really right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? This is why you're the smartest person here. What? Thank you. Thank Whoa. You. Yeah. Hang on. That is that is demonstrably not true. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I have decided. You know what I'm saying? Employee of the <laughs> Employee of the month, Leona. <laughs> I'm going to the ball. Oh my god! Our <gasps> first ever employee I... of the month. If this has been, it is definitively said employee of the month. No one for months and months, but now it's Leona. Wow! I've never heard somebody say, oh "You know what I'm saying," and then list their bona fides. <laughs> <laughs> I've been begging to be employee of the month for for months. I bet, and I bet it took you forever when you did it. Uh, well, I, often I would wake Arnie up at the crack of dawn and say, Lo, this to what I have to say now. For most assuredly, I have earned the honorarium of Employee of the Month, and I will add it to my long list of titles, Arnie, for I deserve to be recognized for my great contributions to this wonderful establishment. So I beg of thee, give me this which I so deserve. Now, would you like some breakfast? Can I talk to you for a second? And then he would roll over and go back to sleep. Hey, Isidora, can you come over here real quick? I said, you know what? I just, I just wanted you to show you sure. something in this closet. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what? Oh. Arnie, you said was in trouble. Oh. Yep. Oh. Arnie, let's, let's put our ears to the door. Whatever you need, your master. I love it when you argue with me. What? I love it when you argue with me. You love it when I argue with you? Uh. Yes, I want you to say whatever you want to me, whenever you want to. Uh... Well, well, your highness, I, I would never speak out of turn to one of the royal family. But I desperately... But I desperately... Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, Shut the fuck up. Uh, please. John, I don't know if you hear what I hear coming from that closet. It sounds like Usador is masturbating in there. Yeah, it sounds like a... Like a Slap, 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 Your Highness, uh, uh, while, while I am Shut up. becoming Shut up. aroused Listen by me. your slaps. Listen, yeah. yes, that's the point. So yes. that, so stop talking. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, so now. we're both into this. We're into this, right? Sure, yeah, I'm, I'm game. Cool, yeah, because I'd rather fuck you than a lizard, okay? Okay. Frank, did you hear that? No. Mm. Okay, so, like... An hour after we close. Okay. Right? Yeah. Meet me, meet me by, like, yonder dumpster. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah. The yonder dumpster? Of course. I'd gladly meet the you The blue there. one. The blue one for, like, the things that we reuse. The recyclable. <laughs> yes. Meet me over there. And then we're going to... We're going to... I, I don't just, know what we're going to do because I still don't know what sex is because you won't tell me. I, 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 but we're doing that. We'll do We'll get it. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Shut up. Ow. Uh, look, 
I, I, I just want you re to remind you that recycling won't save the world. It's also reuse and uh, the other one. Reduce. Yes, also, reduce. I just want to check one thing. Uh-huh. You're into this whole domination slappy thing, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really important. Uh. <laughs> Good. See you in a half hour. <laughs> See you in half an hour. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye bye. Well, Arnie Chunt, time to shut down the tavern. What? Uh, you said our are... place is still gonna be open for hours i don't I think. I don't think so I think we need to wrap things up call the uh, night I see what's happening you're tired you sir we heard three slaps and then about yeah. a minute and then a fourth slap and then about a minute and then a fifth slap so clearly you're you masturbating I, look, look you Sidor, I know you're upset yeah. I feel like Leona has gotten under your skin a little bit and you, you just you two <laughs> just hate each other so much that you want nothing more than to end this day and be gone why are you chuckling for such an extended period of time. Just disagreeing with what you said there. Uh, okay. Nothing to worry about. I I simply think that, uh, you know, we've made enough money tonight, and I'm sure that these tavern uh, patrons are simply tired of drinking and eating and making merry and would like to just go home and make it, you know, have a nice night, cozy night at home. Doesn't that sound uh, fun? Stop, stop doing that with your wand. How are you not gagging? <laughs> Look, uh, Chunt, uh, I just want you to know uh, that I, I value as value as a friend, okay. uh, but mind your own fucking business. All right, you're just you're being weird, I guess. Am right? I being Are weird he? right Is now? Is he being weird? He's being weird. This is yeah. weird. He's being Look, it's weird. Look, it's just that I get tired, and I think I should just cut off all my events at eight p.m. What do you think about yeah. that? Hmm. I mean, you are getting old. You are getting old, so uh, you know if you need to to like stop working earlier in the day, that's fine. I, I, if I start work, stop working a little earlier, I think I can keep doing the job, and I think I'm the man for the job. <laughs> Look, you Sidor, I think I see what's going on here. You've got what we on Earth call a half cheers. You're you're you've got a, a half Sam and Diane situation going on. Uh huh. You know, it basically you and this <laughs> Sam and Diane. Really good. just hate each other so, so much, right. but there's nothing else going on. You just really hate each other. Uh, well, then may I confide in you? Sure. Quickly, meet me under the table. This. Okay, yeah, I'm bringing the mics, though. What? What's going on, you said? Uh, Chunt, Arnie, I think well, oh, I'm... Oh, I didn't realize Chunt was in there. Oh, I'm sorry, coming, I'm Chunt, down. come oh, down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming down. I think perhaps... I think perhaps there's more happening than you realize. <laughs> I think so too. I think I saw I saw Rick go upstairs. Um, and after he goes upstairs, I assume next season he'll be recast with like a younger guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Rick was very good in his day, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, it, sometimes people move mm -hmm. on. You know, yeah. Yeah. All that That's true. Yeah. No, I think that the perhaps Princess Leona has some affection for me. And since I am currently unattached and so angry at Genlevia the Red, I think this might be a real opportunity to meet her out behind the dumpster. Whoa, you, Sidor. Whoa, you, Sidor. That's, wait, that wasn't a euphemism. It was just literally where we're meeting later. So you're going to go dumpster diving, uh, wink, wink? I don't get it. I guess I don't either. I just, yeah. I just heard that said. You can't just say wink wink at the end of anything and it means something. I don't know. Give it a oh, try. Yeah? Wink wink. I get it. Whoa, whoa, oh, hey. 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 oh my head. Uh, Honestly, well, we can... that dumpster diving joke was the joke that my pussy is a dumpster because that's hilarious. Because huh. um, I actually like, you oh. know, I'm cooler than you think I am. <laughs> I get it. I get it now. Good one, Chunt. All right. Well, I've been waiting by the dumpster to oh. like fuck. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. You've got there. a full cheer situation like, going on. I, I apologize. Anyway, I, no one will tell me what it is, but I think I get it. I I'm think like, I get um, it too. I think between the two of us, there we've were, got it. Like, I I get it. There were a couple of like dire wolves out back, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's what that is. Okay. And I think I get it now. Or okay. so bend over. Okay. Is that um, it? 
Is this it? No, I not. I don't think I get it. Ask Chunt. No, Chunt. this doesn't look right. Okay, Chunt, we are Chunt. so close to what's happening right now. Chunt, will we, you we, come out what are back we, with us? Like, can you just show me like what like. Like, Co- you know, coach you like, through it. Think I can coach it. you through it. Yeah. Have Chunt like just... a science experiment. Right. Or if you don't coach him through it, Woody him through it. Or like ye old Tetris, like how they like <laughs> made stuff fit together. You know what I mean? Sure, this sure. is oh, like what I'm asking about. That was a fun I game. I don't get. Ani, have you ever played ye old Tetris? Have we ever shown you that? No. Yes. It was, it was, they made uh, peasants move these big blocks and try to fit them together. <laughs> Took up a whole field. Uphill. Uphill. Hmm. Yeah. It was crazy. But fun. And the, the peasants who did well disappeared forever. <laughs> it's true. Well, I mean, that's like, do you want yield Tetris or not? Like. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. Uh, I'm sorry, Arnie. Are we being rude? Do you want to come watch too? No, no, I'm okay. Arnie, uh, didn't you? You're say- welcome to come. <laughs> Arnie, in <laughs> Cheers, did Sam and Diane fuck in a dumpster? Probably. Look, there's so many episodes. And sometimes I get, maybe it was, maybe Diane, maybe, yeah, I'm not sure. Hey, hey, I can, he- you, I can hear you. Oh. Uh-huh. It's by a dumpster. Uh, not I'm sorry, I'm being free. Like, I'm so I sorry. Am. My apologies. Yes, let's Jesus. keep it classy. Yes, <laughs> thank you. But honestly, I, I just want to tell you something. I'm putting all this pressure on, like, doing this thing mm-hmm. for the first time that I don't even like I don't even really know what it is but I've been told it's a, it's cool <laughs> but I like you well I like I think you're special I like you too and I, I've liked you ever since you got mad at me for saying I shouldn't ask you how to bathe I was so wet for that what that makes perfect that sense works. Is this why you always ask Now I just want to know how you don't use soap. I understand that you get wet. <laughs> that makes sense. That's how you bathe. <laughs> well, okay. Nothing in the history the of this show is bathe? more mind-boggling to me than the do you bathe line is working. Oh, yeah. it's I'm so into that. But I will, of course I'm going to tell you how I bathe. But then I'm going to tell you how much I love you, but then I'm going to disappear forever what? because this is just not going to work. You get uh, it. You get it. Well, but I I can't like, I can't fall in love with some guy who isn't even the boss of the tavern where I intern. Well, I'm, I'm sort of, you know? I'm sort of the boss of it's just like, quests and adventures. And no. Be, listen, I'm in love with you I'm and I know exactly too. what you are. And it's fine. Oh. You are fine how you are. It's just like, you know, I can't. Uh, okay. Anyway, I've been putting a lot of pressure onto the physical stuff, uh, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, I've also fallen in love with you. I think it's best. <laughs> what? Really? Yes. Obviously. Uh, you took me into a closet and, and struck me. That was fun. It was fun. We've had, we've <laughs> had a wonderful time today. Yeah, I know. But you were saying you can't... Stay? Why can't you stay here forever? Oh, come on. You knew that I could, this is not a forever thing, right? This is like a a closet diddle and done. Like, this is like, you know. I did know. You know. I just hoped that we would make it out to the side of the dumpster before it was over. This really is a full cheers. I'm glad that the closet is kind of, kind of our place because yeah. it's a lot more romantic than the dumpster, don't you think? I do, Leona, and I want you to know that though my heart doth now break in twain, I shall always look back upon thee with naught but the fondest of memories. What is with that accent? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to butt in. And I I know this isn't about me, but I am still under this table with with you. Right. Um, I didn't see you. (laughs) Yeah. Hi, this is, yeah, me. Uh, Hi. Maybe this will make it easier, Leona, if you just say... To you, Sidor, I'm just going to be gone for six months. I'm just going to go, and then I'll be back, and we'll be together then. I'm sorry. Yeah? Are you mansplaining how to manipulate men? Oh. Wow. Hmm. Ooh, Arnie, yeah, I, 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 I can't see you. Can you raise or crane your neck? <laughs> yeah. Like, 
you don't think I know everything you're saying. I'm okay. choosing a different technique today. Okay. I don't have fair. to do the easiest one. Sorry, I was just trying to bring things more in line with how Cheers. Uh, I was just trying. Sorry, I was just trying to keep things. Sorry, because I don't have Cheers. Wait, which one's Arnie? Which one's Arnie? You said I can't tell them apart. Anyway, we're not going to bang, okay? But it's like it would be fun. I get it. I think I'm putting a lot of pressure onto it, and I'm being really weird. But I'm madly in love with you. I want to have your babies, and I'll never see you again. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, I bathe by like uh, ducks they swallow holy water and they spit it into my armpits goodbye forever (laughs) she's crawling out from under this table so slowly god it's slippery it's oh now she's pulling out a duck and she's (laughs) smacked usador in the face with a duck i'm sorry about that that's not i didn't do that on purpose but it's funny it was still fun okay all right okay bye goodbye wow usador you didn't make her come but you made her go have a good life oh you sir, she's gone. She didn't hear that. Do you want to go? I, I know. Or? I say it after she leaves. I say it after she leaves. That's the whole point. <laughs> Do you want me to go run and get her? Or? No. It just seemed like she couldn't hear that. Wait, hey, I think I oh. lost. I think I lost. A, a, Do you guys see um, a wand charger in here? Huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, here's a wand charger. Uh, I, I, I have a couple. Of, I have a lot of these sitting around. You can just have one. But is it for a one plus or like a ten? Oh, let me see. Uh, let's see. We've got got a magic dash C, a magic dash C mini. Oh my Why do they keep uh, changing the chargers for these wands? I don't know. It's just to make money, I suppose. Why does uh, a princess need a wand? And I'm a princess. I'm not even a wizard, but I have a wand. Run up your credit card. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come back in. That's okay. But I'll love you forever. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so. Beautiful. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, smacked you in the face with her wand. This is a, a magic wand, I guess, so she doesn't need you. <laughs> okay, now have a good life. No, she can't hear you. No, no, damn it, cunt! <laughs> Let me go grab her. <laughs> Don't grab her. What? She. What can't. the fuck is uh, with this? No, uh, never I, mind. Listen, you can I, go. I did. Oh God, it was so perfect, mm-hmm. and you just ruined right. it. Right. Ch- chunt, just, just now we let have to go. start over. All right, oh, all right, Ani, start on. over. Hello from the Magic Tavern. All right, okay, let's do it faster. I love you. I think you're hot. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. I can't be with I you. Love you. I'm not gonna fuck you. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Have a good you. life. Okay. Okay. Right. I love you. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go first. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll go first. Okay, you go. Okay. All right. Okay, I love you. I love you. You said, I think you should say, no, I'll go first. Like, like she wants you to bark you with me. I'll go uh, first. Oh, me? Yeah, like, I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. I-, yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Have a good life. Ew. What? Guys, I'm going to go jerk off by the dumpster. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Arnie, I'll come, I'll come with. That's weird. Why is that weird? Have a good life? That sounds like someone you're about to murder. No, I, I know you're not coming back. And I want you to be happy and, and Again, have a fulfilling uh, existence, even okay, though you... Okay, okay, all right. I, I okay. see that that was your intention, okay. but it wasn't good. So try it again. Just to be clear, I only bathe in thunderstorms. Say, have a good life, have but a, like have better. Have a good life. No. Okay. In different words. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, in different words. Very well. Now I see that we would never work out. We would never work out. You're hot. I want to fuck, but no. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I did have fun. I did have fun. I had fun too. Right. Okay. Bye. Hey, Arnie. Slap, 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 slap. Hey, Arnie. <laughs> yes. Slap, 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 yeah. slap. Is this is this like Cheers? Slap, 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 slap. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Really, everything's like Cheers a little bit. Usador the Wizard was played by Matt Young. 
Chomp the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Princess Fiona of Frogenford was played by special guest Emily Fleming. Check out Emily's movie podcast, Free With Ads, available wherever you get your podcasts. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Sophia Pardo, Rob Chamberlain, Kyle McCullough, John Nesmith, Matt Almond, Sabrina Celeste, Brandon A. in Colorado, Rachel Franklin, Judy Jordan, Andrew Kinch, and Queen Heather Welliver and her pathetic manservant, Russ Greenberg. They wrote all that. I'm not editorializing. Although I am strangely aroused. Patrons get ad-free episodes, all the spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. Here's a clip of the most recent bonus episode where Arnie, Matt, and Adel do some non-Magic Tavern improv. But the problem um, is that that vibrator or a dildo has a Tasmanian devil on it. Well, I mean, it makes you go blah, 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 blah. Guys, am I giving too much inspiration for scenes? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. You go in there. No, 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 you go, you go. You go, I can't go. I can't. I'm in trouble. I'm so, I'd be so embarrassed. I, I can't. Let's just go. Okay, let's just go together. Hey, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I see you kids lingering outside my store. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you can come on in. You're, you're. Look, to be clear, you, you, you look like you're at least 18 years old, correct? Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, come on into the dildo store. We'll just go in together. Come on. Oh. Come on. Uh. So. Um. I already have so many dildos. Should I um. I just, uh, what do you get for the guy's got everything? To hear the rest, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adel Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Hoverman. This episode edited by Sage GC. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. <laughs>